Welcome back to Harbor. Let me go to Amanda Carpenter. What do you make of Fred Thompson? He's finally dropped the news. He's going to announce next Thursday. He's going to go from New Hampshire to Iowa to South Carolina. Big day. Can this guy break into the top three right at the bat? I think we're going to have to find out right away. It's good news. He's getting into the race. We can finally see how he's going to stack up against the other candidates. But seeing how he's likely to announce on September 6th, he's going to have to be ready to talk about Iraq immediately and start raising major money because of the next FEC deadline, which is at the okay. end of October. You're setting it up. Let's find out what who thinks. Uh, Mike Vicari, the sense on Capitol Hill, is this guy a real frontline candidate from the start? Well, you know, the one thing you hear around here so much from Republican members of Congress, it's almost become a cliche. Does Fred Thompson have the get up and go, the oomph, the energy to do what's required to run for president of the United States. A lot of people have been somewhat disappointed in the reviews on the stump speeches he's made so far, calling them lackluster. Of course, it's been talked about many times here on this show that his fundraising has also fallen short of yeah. expectations. So, an announcement today that there's going to be an announcement. How long can they drag this thing out, Chris? <laughs> but it, it appears that September 6th is going to be the day. Joan, does this guy have Hollywood appeal? I don't know how much Hollywood appeal he has politically. I mean, clearly he's an actor. He does he does his job really well. Uh, but I think Mike's right. We really need to see what he's like out there on the stump. He's finally he's finally ready to make the jump. I mean, Mike Huckabee is taking taking kind of a, a bounce that people thought he might. Huckabee's good. We he had got, him on this week. He's yeah, very yeah, likable. Yeah, I saw that. He's got you know he's gotten into the double digits in a couple of polls now. So he's more of a contender. Mm. People are looking for an alternative. I don't know if he'll okay. hold up. Okay, Joan. I'm going yeah. to reserve judgment. That's four of us reserving judgment, which right. means it's a good political story this fall. The big question mark, can Fred Thompson go right to the top, right past Romney, right past Rudy? Anyway, thank you, Joan Walsh. Thank you, Amanda Carpenter. Thank you, Mike.